In this video, I will provide you with information on how to figure out the area here for a circular shaped or a segment. Let's go ahead and go to the segment. This would be the segment of the walkway that we are going to figure um, the cubic yards and cubic feet for. So you can get enough concrete to actually pour it. You never want to be short on concrete. Been there too many times. The rectangular sections or the square sections of the walkway, um, I made another video on that and I will put a link at the end of the video and maybe one here so that you can uh, use the two, uh, two methods to figure out the entire cubic feet of this particular sidewalk. Okay, let's take a look at the math. Um, the math formula for figuring the area of a circle is radius times radius times 3.14. And this would give us the area in units. If we are going to be using feet, it will give us the area in square feet. Inches or yards will give us the area in those measurements. These are feet measurements. The um, radius is half the distance of the circle in the center, from the center. Diameter would be double the distance. So here we have a three foot circle and a six foot circle. The six foot area would be the segment that we're trying to make from the sidewalk. We're actually gonna try to figure it out and we can see it here, it's three foot by three foot. And if we drew a line from here to here, it would be three foot. Here's the distance, three foot. And then the next distance for the outside, inside of the segment of the circle is three foot. Six foot would be the outside. So if we took a tape measure and started here, we could draw all the way around and then we would get to that. And I'll try and put a um, link in it here or at the end of the video to a a video on how to actually draw these circles with a tape measure. If I forget to simply go to how to draw a circle with a tape measure and hopefully my video will pop up. So what we have here you can see is that we need to actually work our way through the process and divide it into sections. And I'm going to do that right here. Let's go ahead and multiply 3 times 3, radius times radius times 3.14 equals 28.26 square feet. This is not cubic feet. This is all square feet. We also, so this would be the square feet for the smaller circle. Bigger circle that's six foot in, um, as a six foot radius would be 113.04 square feet. We need to subtract these two. We need to get the measurement for the outside area. By doing that, we need to remove the area of the inside, square feet area. Um, and we will do that here, subtract it. We have 84.78 square feet. And this would be the entire square feet um, surface area of this little, let's say, donut or zero shaped object. And with that, all we need to do is divide it into four sections to get this one right here. Four equally, equally sized sections will give us this one right here. Um, divide 84.78 by four, we have 21.95. 21 this section, this segment, this segment and this segment would each be 21.95. If you were going to have a walkway that was shaped like this, half of the donut here, then you would simply divide this number by two. And hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you were gonna have three quarters of the shape, you can actually divide it um, by four and then multiply the three um, times three would give you this area here. So um, to find the cubic feet of the walkway, we will need to take the surface area in square feet and multiply it by the thickness of the walkway. And if you remember from the other videos, if you've watched them, um, to find the decimal, you need to 
um, divide the number four into the number 12. And, uh, and I'm gonna have a chart here in a second pop up to help you out a little more with that. So 0.33 times the square feet gives us the cubic feet. These are cubic feet. 6.94 cubic feet is what we would need to fill this area. If we want cubic yards, we would, we would need to divide this number by 27.26 cubic yards is what it would take to fill this sec section with concrete. In this section, we are going to use inches and feet. Simply gonna change the three foot or 36 inch unit to 22 inches or one foot 10 inches. Now the first thing we need to do is convert the inches to feet. And to do that, all you need to do is multiply 22 times the measurement or the unit we have decimal for one inch. The 0 0.0833 represents one inch. If you divided one into 12, you should get this number here. 22 times 0 0.0833 gives us 1.83 inches. This is a linear measurement. This is not square feet or cubic feet. Then we will simply go through the process. I'm gonna let you go through it on your own there to speed up the video. Repeat the same process we just did. Dividing it by four, getting the square feet, taking the square feet, multiplying it by the thickness of the walkway. Here's the cubic foot measurement. Now, if we want to change it to six inches, let's say that we want to have a six inch thick walkway, then we need to change this decimal to 0.5 inches. Remember, 0.5 represents one half as a decimal, and six inches is one half of 12 inches, which 12 inches would be in a foot. So here we have the square or the cubic feet of a sidewalk that's going to be six inches thick. If we want to figure out how many yards we're going to need, simply divide this number into 27 and then you would have almost half a yard of concrete. Now there is one thing I put in here, wanted to make sure you had it. Here's a chart if you want to use it for figuring out decimals. Um, you have one inch, we have 0 0.08, you can use 0 0.083. Um, which is what it would be more exact if it was two numbers. The rest of these numbers, um, three inches deep, um, 0.25. Again, 0.25 is one quarter, just like there's one quarter in a dollar. I guess we might as well get some math lessons in here. Um, three times, or three plus three is six. And we have three, um, we have four units of three in one um, foot, which would be 12 inches. So 0.25, three inches, six. If we add this number together, we're gonna get half. If we add um, 0.25 to five, we're going to get nine inches. And then another 0.25, we're going to get 12 inches. So hope that makes sense. And to figure out what you need, um, divide the depth into 12. Three inches divided by 12 equals 0.25. Hope that makes sense. And I am going to try and make another video. I will attach it to the end of this video for a, another curve shaped how to figure out the cubic um, yards and feet for a kind of a, a walkway that's going to have a few different curves in it.